The 2025 HAL Tejas MK-2 represents one of the most ambitious steps forward in India's modern fighter aircraft program, and in this review we're taking a deep, engaging look at what this aircraft brings to the table. Even though the Tejas MK-2 is not a car, it can still be explained in a way that feels relatable and easy to follow, so you can clearly understand why this machine is such a big deal for aviation fans, defense watchers, and technology enthusiasts alike. This upgraded model is built to fill the gap between lightweight fighters and full-scale medium-weight multirole jets, giving it an important role in the future of India's air combat capabilities. It carries over many elements from the original Tejas while introducing major improvements that make it faster, stronger, more versatile, and far more capable in modern battle scenarios. The first thing people notice about the Tejas MK2 is the design overhaul. The aircraft is longer than the previous model, featuring a stretched fuselage that allows larger fuel tanks, additional avionics, and increased payload capacity. Its aerodynamic shape has been refined for better stability and maneuverability at high speeds and high altitudes. You'll also see the newly added canards near the cockpit, which improve lift and reduce drag, especially during sharp turns and complex maneuvers. These design changes are not just cosmetic, they significantly enhance the aircraft's performance envelope and allow it to compete with advanced fighters from other major countries. One of the biggest upgrades in the Tejas MK2 is its engine. It uses the GEF 414 engine, which delivers far more thrust than the older version. This boost in power not only improves acceleration and climb rate but also increases the aircraft's maximum payload, meaning it can carry more weapons, sensors, and equipment without compromising performance. For everyday viewers, this simply means the Tejas MK2 can take off faster, react quicker, and stay in the air longer, all while carrying more technology on board. Speaking of technology, the cockpit of the Tejas MK2 is a major leap forward. It features a larger panoramic display that gives the pilot all mission information in one wide, clear view. It also includes hands-on throttle and stick controls, making it easier for the pilot to access important functions without removing their hands from the main controls. This combination allows faster decision-making during intense missions and reduces the workload on the pilot, especially in complex environments. When it comes to combat capabilities, the Tejas MK2 is built to be a truly multirole fighter. It can handle air-to-air, -air, air to ground and even anti-ship roles with equal effectiveness. It includes compatibility with a wide range of modern missiles such as Astra, Meteor, and other beyond visual range options. It can also carry laser-guided bombs, standoff weapons, and advanced electronic warfare pods. For anyone who may not be familiar with these terms, all of this basically means that the aircraft can engage enemy aircraft at long distances, strike targets on the ground with extreme accuracy, and defend itself from enemy radars and jamming systems. One of the standout features of the Tejas MK2 is its electronic warfare suite. Today's battles are not just about speed and weapons, they are also about who can control the digital and radar battlefield. The MK2 includes upgraded sensors, advanced radar warning systems, and jamming equipment that help it remain hidden, avoid threats, and confuse enemy targeting systems. These features give the aircraft a major advantage in hostile environments where technology is just as important as physical firepower. Fuel capacity has also been expanded, giving the jet a longer operational range. This improvement means that missions requiring deep penetration or long patrols can be completed more efficiently. Combined with air-to-air -air refueling capability, the Tejas MK2 can stay airborne for extended periods, making it suitable for a variety of mission profiles. On the manufacturing side, the MK2 also highlights India's push for greater self-reliance in defense technology. A significant portion of the aircraft is designed and produced domestically, which helps reduce dependence on imports and strengthens the local aerospace sector. For many viewers, that may not seem important at first, but it greatly boosts national capability, job creation, and technological development. What makes the Tejas MK2 especially compelling is the balance between affordability and advanced features. Compared to fighter jets from the United States, Europe, or Russia, it offers a high-performance package at a comparatively lower cost, making it attractive not only for India but also for potential export customers. This combination of modern technology, 
powerful performance, and cost efficiency gives it a unique selling point in the global fighter market. Overall, the 2025 HAL Tejas MK2 is not just an upgrade, it is a major evolution that strengthens India's air power with a fighter that is modern, agile, and fully equipped for future combat scenarios. With its powerful engine, advanced avionics, expanded weapon capabilities, and refined aerodynamics, it stands as a confident step toward building an aircraft fleet that is both competitive and proudly homegrown.